Hello all, this video is on GSM 4G LTE module A7672S with GNSS and Bluetooth. We have got A7670 module, this is without GNSS, that is uh, no GPS, only GSM, but it supports uh, 4G LTE. In this video, we will be uh, analyzing AT commands for A7672S, that is with GNSS, GPS and uh, Bluetooth support. It has got uh, two SMA connectors, one for uh, GPS antenna and another one for GSM antenna. GSM antenna is 4G LTE antenna, 3.5 dBA, it is foldable. These two antenna are uh, supplied along with this module. The GPS antenna is powered antenna, patch antenna for receiving GNSS signals and it has got preamplifier. On board there is a power regulator which is low dropout voltage regulator. It supplies 3.4 to 4.2 volt to A7672. So you can safely provide 5 volt supply to the board. And it has got UART communication, RX, TX pins or uh, in the Berg sticks and as well as USB communication. A reset pin is provided so that from uh, microcontroller you can do a, re a reset. At the back seat you can see the SIM slot where you can place uh, 4G LTE SIM like Geo SIM is supported. Even it is when 4G network is not available, it supports 2G fallback. So you can use any 2G or 4G SIM. Here we are using Geo SIM, which is 4G LTE. And for power source, we are using a power supply board like this and a USB to TTL device built on CP2102 for communication. Now let us connect the uh, GSM antenna that is a 3.5 dBA for LTE antenna foldable antenna to the top connector to the bottom connector let us connect the GPS antenna as I am indoor I am placing the antenna outside and uh, connecting the to the SMA connector now the power from the power source let us connect the 5 volt on ground to 5 volt on the G and uh, from USB to TTL let us connect the a TX pin of uh, USB to TTL to RX and RX to TX and ground to ground. So both the ground pins to be made common. That is, and uh, GeoSIM is inserted to the slot and uh, power is switched on. Now you can see the power LED, red LED and uh, the blue LED will come up and it will start blinking. It means network is ready and uh, the module is ready for uh, accepting AT commands. Now let us plug in the USB to TTL to PC and let us note down the COM port allotted to that. Open the PuTTY window, PuTTY serial monitor and uh, select serial and select the COM port and the baud rate is 115200 which is the default baud rate of the 4G LTE module. Now open the PuTTY window and type in AT command you will get OK. OK. ATI command will display the product identity info. It is. It says uh, the module is manufactured for incorporated and A7672 FASC variant which supports GNSS, GPS and Bluetooth and uh, IME number. And AT plus CNUM will return the SIM number. AT plus uh, COPS equal to question mark will list all the supported operators network surrounding as I am in India it shows uh, Geo, uh, Cell1, Vodafone, Airtel. AT plus uh, IPRX is for uh, knowing the question mark will return the baud rate which is 115200 default baud rate. AT plus IPRX equal to you can set the baud rate which is uh, module serial interface you can set it permanently using this command AT plus IPRX and AT plus CRESET will give the hardware reset and the mo module will restart uh, let us clear the terminal for uh, fresh AT commands AT, uh, ATD is for uh, dialing the number ATD number and then a semicolon. AT plus CHUF is to hang up the call. These are all similar to the previous uh, SIM 800 and 900 module commands. And for incoming, AT plus CLIP equal to 1, which will enable the caller ID. 
ATA is to answer the call and uh, uh, ATS0 is for auto answer. ATS0 is question mark will return 000, which means auto answer is not enabled. ATS0 equal to suppose you give 004 means after four rings it will auto answer. It, for uh, messaging, AT plus CMGF equal to 1 for text mode, AT plus CMGS equal to the uh, number to send in uh, double quotes and then after uh, greater than symbol you give the message and then press ctrl z to send the message and uh, to read the messages at plus cmgl equal to uh, all in double quotes will read all the sms messages at plus cmgr equal to one means it will read the first index that is the index number it is uh, read the first sms to delete the sms use at plus cmgd equal to the index number 1 comma 1 will delete first in uh, first index sms and 1 comma 4 will delete all the uh, sms so after issuing this delete command if you check up at plus cmg equal to all it will show nothing now let us check up all the uh, commands in the at command uh, list it shows uh, commands for sms for a serial interface hardware uh, control and file system, internet service, uh, TCP, IP, HTTP, FTP, MQTT, audio, uh, GNSS, Bluetooth. There is a huge list of AT commands uh, in this module. Now let us check the GNSS which is Global Navigation Satellite System which includes GPS, which is Global Positioning, positioning System of uh, North American Satellite Positioning System, which is included in GNSS. This is the GNSS command, AT plus CGNSS PWR equal to 1, which will power up the CGNSS uh, module engine. And AT plus CGNSS PWR and question mark will return ready. After you get the ready, you can uh, type in the AT plus CGNSS info to get the uh, data. Now, but now as I am in indoor, I am not getting any data. Now let us enable that AT plus CAGPS. This uh, uh, CAGPS is uh, a get AGPS data from the uh, advanced server. Now issue the AT plus CGNSS info you get the NMEA sentences which includes uh, latitude, longitude, uh, the date, date is uh, here 1724 and then the time and other data. You can uh, see the NMEA sentences details for further details. Thank you for watching.